the massive audience is coming just yeah. because it's good content, but the podcast is generating me money right away. My name is Kerry Green, and I am the Client Happiness Guy at PodcastFastTrack.com, and this is Podcastification. Podcastification is all about you, teaching you how to podcast, how to put into practice the best practices that I and my team have learned in working with hundreds of clients. You are going to podcast better from listening to this show. If you like what you hear on Podcastification, Please just hit the pause button, swipe to the sharing function on your app, and share this episode with somebody you know will benefit. And if you'd like to get in on more podcastification goodness, you can do it by subscribing to our podcast optimizer email series. And I promise you, you won't get lots of junk. You'll just get one actionable email a week. Go to podcastfasttrack.com slash optimizer. That is enough of that kind of stuff. Let's get you podcastificated right away. Okay, Casey Stubbs, you are doing an amazing sort of strategy with your podcast that, in my personal opinion, not enough people are doing. And that is that they're inviting people onto their show who are ideal clients or customers for their business. So first of all, tell me a little bit about your business. What kind of customer is it you're looking for? My main business is marketing in the financial and trading industry. And so I like to do promotions and help people with their marketing and drive traffic and build funnels and help them create a better sales process for traders in the trading industry. Okay. So you're a sales funnel and marketing lead generation provider for traders. And so people who have a trading oriented product and they are trying to sell that is who you want as your ideal customers, right? Yeah. So to sum it up, I'm looking for trading education providers, people that teach how to trade. Okay. And for a client like that, what are you going to sell them? First of all, I try to sell them traffic if they already have the ability to convert a traffic because I have a great traffic generation systems. And secondly, if they don't, because I could sell traffic and they don't know how to convert it, it wouldn't do them any good because they would just have traffic and they wouldn't make any money. Yeah. Uh, So then secondly, I'll create email funnel for them, a sales page, videos that will help them sell their products. Okay. So you've got two basic services and there's probably ancillary stuff off of that. Okay. So you started your podcast or your second iteration of your podcast called How to Trade It with that as your goal was to get people like that to be guests on your podcast. Now explain that to me. Why did you want those people to be your guests? So the main idea is they were people that had a lot of value in the products they were delivering and the services they're delivering. And it just fits my services. So they are the perfect person that is in need of the services that I provide. So it's right there. It's an absolute great fit. So then the benefit of it is that I'm helping them get promotion by getting them on the show. So when they get on the show, I help promote them. I help build up their brand. I help get them eyeballs on their education and just a really good fit for my services. And it's a good fit for them because it helps them get their show promoted. Okay. So let's pause right there. So you're inviting them onto your show as an ideal client or ideal customer of yours, but you're doing so with an eye toward making them look good, promoting their products, giving them another set of ears, so to speak, in your listeners to hear about what they have to offer. And I've seen how you do this. You, you know, it goes out in your email and newsletters. It goes on your blog post page. It goes on social media resources. I mean, you, you send it out in all kinds of places. So they're getting a great value there. Now, tell me what happens when you reach out to a person like this, you invite them on your show and have a great interview. Then what happens after you turn off record? We try to have a great interview and everybody sees nowadays how great it is to be on podcast. So that's a big strategy is trying to get on podcast. So it's really easy to get them on the show because they yeah. know that helps them. And so after the show's over, we turn off all the recording and I say, Hey, thanks for being on the show. It was really good. And I enjoyed this training and sh- that you shared. You know, I like to highlight a key thing. And then I just casually bring up a conversation, ask them how their business is going, ask them how their traffic generation is going, how the uh, leads are converting And, you know, when they share, I usually give them a couple tips right off the bat and they kind of say, oh yeah, this guy really knows what he's doing. And then I share with them that I have some services there and I could help them if they're interested. 
Cool. So you're giving them a curiosity-based set of questions, truly interested in what they're doing and how their business is faring for the sake of finding out if they have any needs of what you provide. And when you find out that they do, you offer it. Tell me what's been the result of that. How many people say yes? How many people say no? Well, for the most part, everybody's interested. I've been running this for about 10 episodes, and so far, every single person has expressed extreme interest in doing more with me because I have different levels on what I can offer. Some stuff isn't even monetary as far as selling something, but it's joint stuff together. So far, everything has been very positive because I'm doing it in a, in a way that really helps their business. And so who doesn't want someone to help their business? And I provide a service that can really generate revenue for them. So it really makes it kind of easy to sell. And it, you know, cold calling is so hard, Mm -hmm. but this, you get the ideal customer and you, you build a great relationship. And so it's basically just having a conversation with someone. Yeah. I kind of view what you're doing as shortcutting the marketing process because you're not having to do those seven or 10 or 12 touches that most people say you have to do. You're just reaching out, asking them to be a guest on your podcast, but you get to build a relationship with them right there during the interview. And so by the end of the interview, that no like, and trust factor is really high, especially when you demonstrate expertise like you do at the end. So give me some samples or examples of the types of deals you've been able to broker out of this, given your 10 guests so far that showed interest. The very basic one is a non-monetary one, but it is monetary. It just doesn't cost anything where I'll do a basic swap. I'll say, hey, I have can send you 250 clicks to your offer if you'll send 250 clicks to my offer because I'm running yeah. offers too. So I, I do what I'm teaching people how to do. Yeah. So I'm running offers. So then that's just a straight swap and it brings me money and them money and it helps grow our lists. So that's the first thing that I'll offer then. If they have a marketing system in place, I will then offer them the ability to buy some of my traffic. And I sell leads. I do that, deliver it via my email list. And so I'll run an email to their offer and I'll sell them X number of leads that they want to purchase off me. And then the third, more comprehensive service is where I just, it's everything included. I build and take over all their marketing for them. Okay. So let's create a scenario just so people understand what we're talking about. Let's say the the second option there where you're selling them traffic. Let's just for sake of easy numbers, say you're selling it to them for a dollar a lead. They buy 600 leads. That's 600 bucks. They're paying you. But if their course that they're selling that the leads are for costs 500 bucks, they only have to sell two courses and they've already become profitable. Am I thinking about that right? Yeah, that's right. And that's why I have to qualify the person before I sell it to them because a lot of people don't know how to do anything with traffic. They can't make any money on it. I could send them a thousand leads and they wouldn't make a dollar. Mm. But at the same time, that helps me produce my podcast because you know there's a lot of expenses in producing the podcast, making my podcast really good and building it out. All I have to do is convert one or two people and that covers my expenses. So the podcast is actually generating me a lot of revenue. I don't have to worry about building up a massive audience. The massive audience is coming just because it's good content, but the podcast is generating me money right away. Yeah. And listen to what Casey just said. You hear people talk about how can I get more downloads? How can I get more downloads? How can I forget about downloads if you take an approach like this? I mean, Casey doesn't really have to think about downloads and subscribers, even though it's nice. It does build his brand, but because he's getting ideal clients as guests, that's where his main source of income is going to come from. And as the podcast grows, like he said, he's going to generate incredible exposure for himself and the brands of those that he's featuring. And the whole snowball is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Is that about how you see it, Casey? Yeah. And uh, it's been a great strategy and it's worked really well. And uh, I love podcasting. It's so much fun on top of it. And it's really fun when I have you doing the work for me (laughs) because all I have to do is show up and talk. And that's what I do good at. Yeah. And you are doing a great job. My guy who does your editing keeps telling me he shouldn't be giving this all away for free. He could make incredible money on this, but he doesn't know the whole method behind the madness. He doesn't understand what you're doing with your guests and all that. So Casey, thanks for your time, man. This has been great. Sure. Thank you. Appreciate it. This show is brought to you by Podcast Fast Track, where my team provides professional podcasting services without the time suck full production editing and show notes all in one monthly subscription package you can find out more at podcastfasttrack.com 
Now go out and make it a podcastificating day. Bye.